The Nuffield Foundation STEM Futures course challenges young people to rethink and redesign a future based on closed loop principles. What doesn't create a loop that we sometimes see? You get a mobile phone, you buy it, you throw it away. As if you recycle it, you can use it in a loop. Like it. We certainly don't want to approach this kind of topic in a doom and gloom way. We're very much teaching it in terms of looking for solutions. The concept of a closed loop relates to natural systems of gathering and cycling waste so that materials are constantly being reused. We've um, designed the product, so uh, teenagers like the style because um, you can change the components and when they've uh, like worn out, they can actually send it back to the manufacturer, you can recycle it and then it can start a whole new process again. The STEM Futures resources encourage pupils to explore problems through a series of science, maths and design technology activities. The activity is going to involve disassembling a torch. This isn't going to be put back together. I like the take on this, it suits my rather technical uh, nature myself in that it's not about tree hugging, it's about our futures. You should be thinking about how they're recycled but also how easy they can be taken apart to be recycled. So clearly that could, could be redesigned, couldn't it? Way, we're getting more to pumped. STEM Futures resources contain support, guidance and training for schools wanting to develop their own cross-curricular projects. To try and keep the amount of different materials really low, then have a solar panel. This is um, my, the design of our chair and tells you what it's made out of. 27 hours of teaching and learning are divided into five pods. There is an introductory pod, pods on waste, transport and climate change ending with an inquiry-based project pod. How can we turn different types of waste into an eco-friendly fuel for cars? Okay. Do you think this works as a closed loop system? Yeah, because if the waste of the food is used to power the cars, then that can be used as a closed loop system. There's a positive vibe because it's them thinking of ideas how to improve the future, not being bogged down for what they're doing wrong, but being educated in how to put that right. And I think that's a very important and really strong theme running through the Futures Project. Modelling the real thing, closing the loop, showing them, in my mind, what the real world is like. It's good because it's teamwork, and this is really fun because it's like doing something real.